Ibe Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Trey Tonnison. A lot of weather rolling through parts of Louisiana and Arkansas at 844 on your Wednesday morning. Quite a bit going on, so we have to roll. Let's take a look at that Doppler radar. As you do so, you'll notice that quite a bit of moisture is rolling through parts of the southern side of Arkansas as well as the northern part of Louisiana. As far as our radar is breaching over there to the western side of the state, that moisture is showing up and is apparent on your particular uh, uh, actually statewide view here, but on into the other side of things we're actually going to see as we spread it out a little wider and take a look across the state and add in that satellite imagery. You'll notice that also showing up quite a bit of cloud cover as cloud cover will stay pretty saturated and widespread throughout the day. And this moisture took pretty much a easterly, more easterly flow than it did this morning. This morning it was more northeasterly, taking it right over central Arkansas through the late morning and early afternoon hours. But it's taking a slight easterly tract, which has been enough to provide us more rainfall and potentially some freezing rain into central and uh, northern Louisiana. Now, icing potential does exist for large part of Texas, parts of Louisiana and Arkansas through tomorrow around 11 p.m. Temperatures right now sitting just below the freezing point on, in southern Arkansas. Really, as soon as you cross that Louisiana Arkansas state line and start moving upward, most areas in southern Arkansas below freezing. Everybody, it seems like, except for Texarkana. And this is significant because we're actually seeing this set up perfectly for freezing rain to accumulate. Now keep this in mind. Remember this here, this setup, because this setup is going to persist into this evening as well. We have cooler air down towards the surface and we have the warmer, moist air flowing on top of it that's actually acting to enhance our ice and sleet chances. You'll see why in just a moment. This particular pattern also persisting into the evening. It may switch or move just a tad bit like you saw earlier, switching from northeast to more easterly. <coughs> but as we continue on into the rest of the day, want to look at this first. Right behind me is snow. Snow's not prevalent to us at the moment, but just cold air all the way down. But right now, what we're looking at is the freezing rain potential for most of southern Louisiana and parts of northern Louisiana as well. Reason for this, you're seeing the cool air up on top, and then those particular droplets are falling, and then that warm, moist air that's flowing above that cool air that you just saw falling through a warmer, larger section of air. It's causing it to become freezing rain as it gets closer to the surface after it melts in that larger column of warm air. But on into your future tracker, here's a look at some of your potential ice accumulations. Ice just meaning freezing rain, <coughs> freezing rain accumulations in parts of northern Louisiana and southern Arkansas. But as the day rolls along, Monroe, Bastrop, and Rayville have all been adjusted compared to earlier this morning when we looked at their accumulation potential. But on into the northern part of Louisiana and particularly southern Arkansas, this is where the temperatures tonight will get close enough to fall maybe below freezing, just at or slightly below freezing. Here's a look at some of those potential lows. Camden already showing potential of 30, and other areas might be right at 32, right at the freezing point. But as we take a look at your seven day forecast, rain continues throughout the day, watching that potential for a freezing rain. We get rid of that rain on into the latter half of your day Thursday. It looks like Friday onward. We warm up and finally see that sun return for the first time in too long. Thank you, Trey. Still to come on Fox 14. Your GoNation report is next. Keep it right here on Fox 14.